day 15 of Flossmas. Well, folks, it was bound to happen. I have left my countdown <laughs> at home. <laughs> I have left my whip at home. We have had uh, an ice storm here in uh, southwestern Ontario, Canada this morning. And so uh, it was freezing rain this morning and there was some ice buildup on the truck and the roads. And I, I'm, a, I'm a confident driver, but I don't love driving in the winter. And my husband is a fantastic winter driver. And so whenever the weather is a little bit dicey, we've got a great safe truck. We've got four wheel drive. We've got snow tires. Um, and I also have really good boots. This is kind of a, um, this is a shout out to Yak Tracks. Uh, they are a, they're a thing that you can put on your boot that has um, like metal grips on the bottom of them, and you they're they're at attached on a rubber uh, framework, and you just kind of strap them onto the bottom of your boots. And I have a dedicated pair of winter boots that have the Yak Tracks on them. I just leave them on all the time because they're not easy to walk on when the sidewalks are not snowy or icy or you know trying to walk inside the house on you know tile or anything like that so they're very they're very purpose specific boots so totally safe we were very safe john drove me into work and um but it was completely out of my normal routine because you know it just was everything was out of my routine so i completely forgot that my my whip my stitch along whip and all of my floss it's at home so uh but fortunately i do have my next day's envelope here so we can still open that together but i don't have my stitching to share with you today it was bound to happen at some point this countdown but tomorrow i will i'm going to catch up with my stitching tonight um, but that does mean that I get to actually, I'm going to work a little bit today on my lunch break. I'm going to do some stitching on my Cosford Rise stitchery. Um, happy Christmas to all. I'm going to work a little bit on that. I'm going to also try to put a length of floss into my um, Bart Dunn Be Merry All chart. So a little bit of different stitching today. I have been working on my sock this morning with my coffee. So all around not a terrible start to my day but I'm very disappointed that I left it at home um, so I should clear up yesterday I mentioned I mentioned that we were done the bottom left band we are not quite finished that bottom very bottom left band there's still a few extra stitches left to go in there so ignore what I said last night about the bottom left side being done it's not quite finished yet and I knew that I just forgot <laughs> I completely forgot. Whew, things have been things have been busy around here, which is great. No complaints. But I think sometimes my brain is working faster than my my mouth was working faster than my brain. That's what I meant to say. I am also going to be having a cup of tea later today with both my friend Jessica Jane, who sent me Jessica Jessica sends me a Christmas card every year. And I am a terrible Christmas card sender and every year without fail, Jessica sends me a card and every year I get it and it just makes me smile because it's just so sweet and thoughtful. So thank you, Jessica. And Jessica sent me, I love the Yogi Tea brands. These are delicious. And this is the Honey Lavender Stress Relief. <laughs> so it's almost like she knew I was gonna forget my whip today, feel slightly stressed out about that. And now I can relax myself. So thanks, Jessica. We'll have a cup of tea together today in spirit the other person i get to have a cup of tea with is my friend martha martha d who every year sends me a package of winter wake-up tea from trader joe's i'm canadian i'm in canada i don't have a trader joe's near me and this ah oh, this tea oh this tea is amazing it's like spicy yummy holiday tea and Martha sends me, Martha sends me a package of this tea. She buys a package, uh, I'll read you. She said, Caroline, I picked up my yearly tea at Trader Joe's and one for you, enjoy. So Martha, thank you. Um, this goes into my drawer. No one at my house drinks this tea. 
So I leave this tea here at work. It's special, special just for me. And so I keep it here at work so that I can enjoy it here. And I, <laughs> I eke it out over the year. I make it last, like I don't drink it every day because I know <laughs> it's very special. So thank you, Martha. I will be enjoying that as well. I might save that for tomorrow. I'll have Jessica's tea today and I'll have Martha's tea tomorrow. All right. Um, another busy day around here around the workshop. The elves are hard at work. So I better get to it and I will check in in a few, um, in an hour or so, I will open my day 15 package with you. So at least we can share the floss of the day together. So see you, see you in like just a few seconds. I thought I would still give you something festive to look at while we opened our day 15. It's not my countdown, but it is my hibernation day. Remember how, <laughs> oh, I was so optimistic, optimistic Caroline put in the date. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if that's going to happen. I do have a week of holiday though at the end of the year. So it still could happen. Never say never. All right, let's see what day 15 of our countdown brings us. Okay, today's color is a beautiful coral red called on holiday now i do know that we had two dye lots of on holiday we had uh, some dye bleeds on a couple of the hanks that we had and so carrie had to re-dye a couple hanks we definitely had two dye lots so some of the on holiday was a little more on the corally red and um the other dye lot was just a little bit darker same tone, it will fit in perfectly with your previous stitching. So day 15, um, we're working in only on the top right hand band. We're going to be doing some fill in in both the very topmost border and the border underneath, filling in some diamonds in and amongst the triangles that we stitched yesterday. So happy day 15, everybody. Enjoy your stitching. Get that to focus as we show that color once again. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let's get stitching. Got a bit of a giveaway for you today. I was going through some of our, um, we wind all of the floss here at Evertote for Roxy Floss Co. Um, we, I receive it from Carrie in hank form and uh, each hank has about 70 cards worth of floss. Um, our cards are eight yards or approximately 7.3 meters. So um, we have a lot of leftover. Um, you know, the, the end of the hank doesn't quite make eight yards or there's a small bit of a dye bleed or a little knot that we catch and we cut out. And um, so we usually have leftover um, cards of not quite eight yards or there's a knot in them. So what we do is we save everything in a, in a collection and then we put together surprise packs. Um, we have 25 gram and 50 gram. So we sell them by weight of surprise packs. So you never know what you're going to get in a surprise pack, but it's just, it's an inexpensive way to, you know, build your stash with a lot of beautiful colors. So anyways, um, I found these in the bin. This is poinsettia. This is poinsettia from the countdown. And I have, there's, there's plenty here for a few, a couple of people to do some really beautiful monochromatic stitching. So I'm going to, I'm dividing this in half. Two of you, I would like to send some poinsettia floss. So I, I'm not making any guarantees on quantity here, so they would be perfect for anything that you would want to use a really beautiful red floss in. There's plenty here to even do a monochromatic small plenty. So leave me a comment on this video, on today's video, with the word poinsettia. So I'm going to put it up on the screen in case you have trouble sometimes spelling tricky words like I do, poinsettia. Thank heavens for spell check. Not so much autocorrect. Autocorrect drives me bananas because it never gets quite the right word that I mean. However, spell check 
amazing poinsettia. That's the word of the day. Leave me a comment below and um, in a couple of days, I'll choose two people with the random comment picker with uh, the word poinsettia in your comment and I'll send this floss out to you. All right. I had a great question yesterday from Natalie. Let me read you Natalie's comment and question. She says, from your videos, I'm wondering how you store the threads on the cards. It looks like you cut them to a length and then rehang them. Also, what do you do with the bits of strands left over? Do you put them back on the card or store them elsewhere? I just usually cut what I need and then rehang any spare on the second hole on the card. So yeah, there's a couple of ways um, that that you can handle these, and you know, there's no right way or, or wrong way, uh, but I'll just show you what I do. So I'm working uh, today, I'm gonna put a few stitches into my Cosford Rise Stitchery Happy Christmas to All. I love this chart. I just love it. Cosford Rise Stitchery. Happy Christmas to all. Um, Kelly has PDFs in her shop and um, here at Evertote we carry the physical copies. We also have a floss pack. I'm stitching mine on a, a blue, a denim -y blue linen called Billie Jean. It's a Roxy Flosco linen and we also have a floss pack. So that's just what I'm showing you here today. So um, as you can see, I've I've just started my snow, so I haven't done a lot, but that means I've got a lot of uncut floss still in my pack. So let's pick one. You can see I've got, this should be caramel. No, it's Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard, there's my caramel. Caramel, I already have cut at the bottom, and that's all I do. I do not take it off the card. So let's pick, what's this one? Craisins. This is such a great color. And I've written my um, my DMC number that I'm, I'm converting this floss for. I've written it right on my tag. That's to help me as I move along with my stitching. So I don't take the floss off the tag. I just come to the very bottom where the loop is. And I'm going to, let me just see if I can get this a bit tidier here. Get my loop there. And I know that I've already missed a couple rounds. You're going to want to make sure that you cut through all of it. And I just cut through it. I've got my nice, sharp Ginger embroidery scissors cut right through. And then you're just going to want to make sure, just double check. See, I missed a loop. That's going to, if you don't catch all those loops, you'll run into trouble later on. So you want to cut through all of the loops. Make sure everything is loose. And then the floss that's on the card is already now at the perfect length that I like for stitching. So I'm stitching this particular piece is on a piece of 40 count linen. So I'm using one strand of floss. So all I need to do is I need to just remove one strand of floss from my pack. So I'm just going to use my needle. I'm going to go in, I'm going to choose a strand. I'm going to loosen it from the rest of the pack and then I'm just going to use my needle to pull it out and that's it. All right. Now, if I want to use two strands, I take a group of six. Now that I've got my floss a little messed up because it was just one strand. I'm going to find a group of six. There it is. I'm going to separate it from the group. And I'm going to, oh, I'm getting two groups here. I'm going to pull it out. See, I like that this is messy because it shows that not everything is going to happen perfectly and you're going to have a messy situation like this you might have to deal with. But look, no panic. It'll all smooth out. Now we have one loop here that's getting a bit loose from the, from the set. So what you can do is if you just gently tug on that loop, it's going to start to pull. See that? That's the end of it. And if I tug that back, it's going to tighten up that, that loop that's untidy. There's another one. We'll find where the end of that is. 
There it is. Tidy that up. And then we still have a neat and tidy loop. And you can take your floss that you need from your group of, now I pulled out two, I pulled out two groups of six. We're only gonna use one. I'm gonna, let's pretend, now, I'll show this in case no one has seen this before. But you want to you want to always pull out your two strands individually if you're going to be putting them together for a variegated floss. You um, I wouldn't recommend a loop start or just using one strand and folding it in half because then you're going to lose all of that lovely color variegation that's in your floss. So if you're using two strands, you're always going to going to want to use two separate strands. So just take one strand, holding at the top, pull it out, and then tidy up your length, pull out your second strand from the bunch like that. Oh, I've got two. Let's start again. There, one strand, pull, remove, there, tidy up your strand. Now, remember I had pulled out two six at once, so I'm going to put those together like that. Now at this point, you could just use a thread bed and you could roll them up and keep them in a, in a, you know, in a floss container, but I've got all my floss all together on a ring. So I'm just going to put it back on the same card. Move those out of the way, pull it through, open up that loop at the back, grab the ends, pull them through and there. Now you've got all of your floss back on the same tag and it's at a length that's easy for stitching. Then you've got your two strands that are from the same end. We don't want them top to toe. We want them top to top. Straighten out your length of two and you're ready to start stitching with your two strands of very lovely variegated floss. I hope that was helpful for a few of you. And Natalie, oh, I better put that needle on a needle minder before I lose it. Natalie, thank you for your question. I hope, I hope that made sense. That's it for me today. I am, it's three o'clock, so it's time to get this video loaded onto YouTube. I have made a fresh cup of tea and I'm going to put a few stitches into my happy Christmas to all while my tea is hot and then back to work. Have a great evening, everybody. I hope that you're well, hope that you're safe, and I hope you've got lots of stitching to take care of tonight for that holiday countdown sal. Are you keeping up? If you're not, that's okay too. Weekend's coming up, time to catch up. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.